Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you as always for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Um, what a crazy ass year it has been. Uh, wow. <laughs> um, this probably will be the last recording that I'm going to be doing for 2023. Um, it has just been a real sledgehammer of a year. That being said, I'm going to keep this podcast really, really tight today and really get to my point. I've had some time alone to do some meditation. Uh, I've been out in the garden, as you can probably see from my um, picture here on the thumbnail, and I'm completely shifting, shifting into a brand new energy for this new cycle that's now starting to rush on through. And I just want to blow this energy away um, for all of the craziness that's going on in the Middle East, in the Ukraine, for all of the displaced people. Um, we have seen some incredible atrocities this year and they're still going on. So my heart goes out to everyone, every human that is affected and will be affected um, as the cycle kind of resets itself again there. <clears throat> But the point of today's podcast, um, for trying to finish off on a positive note here, is that one of the things that I'm getting very, very strongly, and I've been getting uh, very, very strongly today, I've been, um, for the first time in a few months, I've laid on the floor, I've been back doing my art, I'm doing some pages and panels for my brand new kid's book, The Tale of the Sad Mermaid which I will be talking about in later podcasts as well. And I was feeling inspired and I had, um, you know, this kind of new energy coming through. So I wanted to kind of uh, share that with you here. And one of the downloads or one of the very, very strong messages that I've gotten um, that I really want to bring forth today is that Every single interaction that you have with anyone, even listening to this podcast, and sometimes I feel like people aren't listening. Sometimes I feel like I'm lost in a sea of nonsense and fuckery. There is a reason that you're listening to this. There is a reason that you subscribe to my channel. There is a reason for every single interaction that you feel on every single level of your being, of your body, with the world and with each other. And we all know about the old checkpoints. Life is a journey and we have free will. What would life be without free will? And then we have determinism, which is the opposite of free will. Life is a balance of both. So I wanted to share this with you. And I know I might be rehashing, rehashing old ground here. But I want you to know, because I'm telling myself this now and I'm learning this, and this has been a really big game changer for me. That's why I'm sharing it. Every interaction that we have, that I have had, no matter what level of positivity or how unpleasant it was, how painful it was, it had to happen. And it had to happen in terms of the universe or some would say source or God's plan that we would meet, that you would listen to this podcast right now. Perhaps it was a relationship that was an assignment. We all have assignments with each other. I have some more with others. You have some more with others. But that was a predetermined thing that had to happen because it had to happen in the way that it had to happen. Although sometimes we can't see it when we're in the thick of it and it's painful and confusing and fucked. That when we come out at the other end of it, we know that everything happened the way that it was meant to. Even the ends of relationships, it is all learning. It is all teaching. 
And for anyone out there that thinks that that's not the case, you are in a state of atrification if you cannot see it from this lens. Because life isn't just a series of things that are just simply happening to you. We are interacting with the day and shaping the day as the day is shaping us. It's a very famous quote by the writer, the visionary legend himself, Frank Herbert. So every casual encounter, whether we are aware of it or not, with anybody is teaching us something. And it's all on different levels. It could be walking down the street past the dog, walking past a person in the shop, saying hello, nodding your head. Everything is divination. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves that when it comes to the occult or to tarot, they're just tools. Everything around us is a message and a symbol. We just aren't really the best at determining and kind of um, decrypting what is there. But it's all there for a reason. And we choose how we choose to interact with these interactions, whether we choose to be kind or whether we choose to be reserved or cold or dismissive, whether we listen and follow other people's way or whether we try and stick to our own path and follow our own code and follow our path with integrity. This is all a choice. And these choices have a consequence. Life has consequences. Believe me, it does. So what I'm saying here is that it is all a higher level of teaching. It is all for different purposes that sometimes we aren't even privy to understanding, whether it's healing, whether it's trauma, every situation has an opportunity to learn from that interaction. Okay. Now we, we always know that it comes down to perspective, whether you see the glass as half full or perhaps the glass is half empty. That is your perspective of interpretation. And this lens that you see the world through will dictate what shows up in your reality. It's like I've always said when it comes to magic, if you want to change anything, if you want to create anything or do anything, you have to change something in your head first. That's where the real creation begins. So you might have been in a relationship with a, a friend, a lover. Usually humans work in cycles. It's usually three or four or six. There's usually the numbers. And that relationship has come to its time where it's come to its end. And things have kind of shaped out the way accordingly that they were meant to. And the relationship has ended. Some would call that a failure as you're no longer together. But what I'm going to share with you is that's not a failure. Every relationship that you had with other people, whether it got nasty or bitter or whether it just came to the end of its natural conclusion, perhaps it did as so many of them often do. It was a learning experience. It was not a failure. It was a growth opportunity for you to grow so that you can reach full potential as you expand. It was no accident that you ran into that person. It was no accident that that man ghosted you. It was no accident that that car crash happened. And I know it's hard to hear, but that is the truth. And the more separate we get from that, the worse it'll get for us. Everything happens in the way in the time and space that it is supposed to. Okay, so we know that acceptance of something is key to growth. Accepting when someone dies, it is the grieving process. It is the accepting that that has come to its conclusion. And as time goes on, 
we can grow from that experience because we're always adding to the experience of life. We can't subtract anything. If it's really traumatic, we don't get over it. We just get better at living with it. So everything comes in the way it is meant to. And that is what it is. When you start to level up, you will start to learn that you can't say yes to everything and you don't have infinite amount of time and energy available within you, an infinite amount for everyone at one time. So relationships form, relationships come and go. Think of it kind of like a little bit like a lava lamp. Everything is moving in some kind of distorted symmetry where it's warping its shapes and forms. This is life. It's not a straight line. All right. So please know that whatever came to an end this year for you, it had the hammer that the way that the hammer fell, it had to fall that way for a reason. And perhaps you've outgrown that person and they've outgrown you. And every single lesson that you had to learn from that person, you have learnt, you have practiced, and you're in the practice of mastering that elevation from that lesson. And that's what we're here for. So I just wanted to end my last video for this year on that note. Please, I hope that you've enjoyed this one. And I really wish you a fantastic start to 2024. If you've got your vision boards, you've got your dreams, you know, if you can't envision it, if you can't see it in your mind's eye, then you've got no place to go. So it's a time for me to go and do some more inner work, sit and be still, do some journaling, diarize my visions as I move into a completely different chapter of my life. And I know that whoever is out there listening to these videos that they are meant for you because I was shown that I had to do them for you from my heart to you. And it is a choice to see the glass as half full. Lots of love, blessings. I'll see you all in 2024. Bye. Bye.